really great question here. So we got one from uh, Leah. It says, why the security field, why does the security field only want pure IT people? Uh, why don't they look, if there's such this shortage that we talked about, why aren't they willing to start looking at people outside of pure IT and uh, look for people outside of that, right? So there's some people, for instance, um, maybe you're a police officer, right? And you went back to school and you got in the nights and you decided to get an IT degree because you want to get an IT. Well, you've got 10 years experience as a police officer, but you have zero experience as an IT guy, but you do have a degree in information technology management, right? Why won't anybody hire you? Well, it goes back to what I was just talking about. It's, they don't want to take a chance. Nobody wants to be the first one to take a chance. Um, when, I, when I talk about this in my college classes, I use this example. Um, as you guys can see, I'm not the greatest looking guy in the world, right? So when I was in high school, I was asking out girls, trying to get a date. Nobody wanted to go out with me. Everybody I asked, no, 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 nobody wants to get, go out with me. Finally, I find a girl who does want to go out with me. As soon as I start going out with her, now all of a sudden everybody wants me. It's like, well, why is that, right? Why does everybody want what they can't have? Uh, and you'll see that a lot where all these companies are in a food fight for the same employees. And this gets even worse when you start talking about the East Coast here, when you start talking about people who are doing government contracting who require cleared jobs. So if somebody needs a security clearance, it's an even bigger upfront cost to the company. Uh, and there's an even longer lead time to get somebody a security clearance to get them in that job. So often what I'll see here on the East Coast is the opposite of Leah's question here, which is they'll actually hire people without an IT background who have a clearance for an IT job and then train them to do the IT job. Now, that's kind of backwards too, right? I, I'm, I'm going to go and take somebody who has zero experience, but at least they have this you know, top secret, secret, whatever government clearance they need, so I can put them in the job and then I'll train them how to do the job. Um, and so now when you start talking about government jobs and those clear jobs for clear defense contractors and things like that, it gets even more challenging because we want these cleared people, which there's only so many of them. We want these certified people, which there's only so many of those. We want these guys with degrees where there's only so many of those. And now we need all of those bubbles to line up and get that one little dot, that one little guy that everybody's fighting over. Um, and that becomes a big challenge as well. So you're going to see that there's a lot of this where there is this, this uh, food fight and once you get in and you get the experience, uh, you become very highly desirable. Uh, the other thing is we, we started talking a little bit earlier is a location, right? So if you're in an area where there's just not a lot of jobs, uh, you may have to move uh, if you want to get into that field. Um, let's say you wanted to be, I don't know, I'm going to pick something just crazy. You want to be an astronaut, right? Well, we only launch uh, spacecraft from one place, and that's Florida, right? So if you want to be an astronaut, you probably need to live in Florida so you can go work at NASA every day, right? That kind of a thing. Um, that's a kind of a crazy example, but it's the same way with IT, right? There is centralized pockets where there are lots and lots and lots of jobs. And then there's areas where there's no jobs. Um, and it really depends on where you go. If you're in a small town, uh, the idea that you're going to be able to get a job online and work from home in IT, yes, those jobs exist. Generally, those jobs go to guys who already are working in the company and they're getting close to retirement or they were going to leave the company and the company says, well, hey, we don't want to lose you and your skill set. Why don't you work from home? You can live wherever you want and you can just virtually telecommute. Those are the kind of guys who get those virtual jobs. I have several friends who do that, um, but they didn't go into the company on day one and say, I'm going to work from home for the next 20 years. Uh, they worked for the company and were in the business first and then they got the opportunity to go home. So if you happen to be in a small town or you're, you're just in an area where there's not a lot of jobs, you may have to think about how am I going to get to a place that has more jobs. Uh, I was chatting with somebody on the Facebook group today, and they were saying they were actually in town in Baltimore uh, doing a cybersecurity job interview today. Um, and they're not from this area, but they drove in for this interview because if they get the job, they're going to move to Baltimore uh, because there is a lot of jobs in this area. Uh, there is, if you start looking, there's tons of stuff uh, on the government contract side, General Dynamics and Boeing and Booz Allen Hamilton and and Harris, and I mean, there's just a ton of these companies out here because they're all right outside the DC Beltway. Uh, and then if you go up to Baltimore, you have a lot of the uh, the cybersecurity development stuff that's going on in the colleges with John Hopkins and University of Maryland uh, and some of these other schools out here that are really starting to expand in this area. And again, because they have those ties back to uh, government contracts and companies that are working with government contracts. Uh, which has really kind of been the real big driving force in cybersecurity for change recently. And then if you've watched the news, uh, you've seen that our president has been pushing that cybersecurity is a big initiative. 
Um, they're looking at putting more money behind it. They're putting uh, more and more forces behind it. And it just keeps expanding because we all know cybersecurity is not going anywhere. We can't put this genie back in the bottle. So it's a great field to be in. It's just breaking in initially that really is that challenge. 